Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm Scott Bernstein. Uh, right now, we're going to do a quick hitter filling everybody in on what's going on up in the Great White North. Uh, the assassination of Greg Picasso Woolley a couple weeks ago uh, has got everyone up there in a stir. You know, the latest body to drop in this uh, mafia war underworld conflict that's been going on well over a decade. And it's like you have all these mini wars within a war. I wouldn't even call them battles. I mean, since, you know, the late 2000s, you have uh, these mini wars that break out within the bigger war. Uh, in the last year, uh, year and a half, it looks like uh, the bodies that have uh, Chit Del Basso, uh, the Frank Francesco Chit Del Basso, the mafia lieutenant who was killed back in June, uh, and now Greg uh, Picasso Woolley, it looks like this is now the most the latest slice of this uh, pitting the Rizzuto crime family uh, against the Hell's Angels, it appears. Um, uh, uh, former allies have now turned enemies. So I want to give an update on what I found out. Uh, first off, what hasn't been reported in the mainstream press is that Greg Woolley was being stalked and intimidated uh, really from mid-2022 uh, he had warnings from the RCMP that uh, murder contracts were on his head. Uh, Woolley is a, a fascinating figure in the history of the North American underworld. Uh, uh, I led a Haitian gang, a street gang in Montreal as a teenager and gained the respect of both the Hells Angels and Mom Boucher, uh, who was the godfather of the Hells Angels in the, in the 90s, and then uh, Vito Rizzuto and the uh, Italian uh, Sicilian Mafia in Montreal, uh, they both took a liking to him and uh, trusted him. And he was a he was a go between. He became a a member of a a biker game known as the Rockers, which was a support club for Mom Boucher and the Hell's Angels and their big uh, uh, biker war against the Rock Machine and the Banditos in the in the nineties and early two thousands. Um, he was allied with the Rizzutos and and, and quite a few. Uh, criminal affairs. He was a, a the consummate mob politician. Um, it, it seems like he might have miscalculated in some of that politicking here. Uh, we know that he was also one of the first uh, Black, if not the first Black, fully patched member of the Hells Angels. So his loyalty, in theory, should have ultimately resided with the Hells Angels. But from what I'm hearing, that was one of the big reasons that he was murdered is that he wasn't uh, showing the loyalty uh, to the Hells Angels and guys like Marty Robert right now, who's the most powerful uh, biker in Ontario. He's the modern day Mom Boucher, uh, the leader of the Quebec Hells Angels. And he, he is uh, him and, and Leonardo Rizzuto, uh, Vito Rizzuto's son and, and successor are the main kind of puppeteers here. Uh, they appear to be on the same team at some points in this and then uh, trying to kill each other in, in other points of it, which is, you know, it's difficult to, to keep up with all the machinations and, and you know, changing in, in relationships and who's allied with who. Uh, but Greg Woolley, they called him Picasso, uh, he was nicknamed by by Mom Boucher and Vito Rizzuto because they said he, he turned crime into an art form. Uh, so what's being reported in the uh, Montreal press over the last couple of weeks is that all of this violence over the last year is tied to a fight between the Hells Angels and the Rizzutos over sports gambling. And that a lot of this is uh, linked to attempts on uh, it kind of all started, the, the acrimony all started in 2022. Chet Del Basso, who was a former Rizzuto lieutenant that had jumped in bed with the Hells Angels, was going to try to kill the Rizzutos. He was uh, averted some assassination attempts. Then him and allegedly the Hells Angels try to kill Leonardo Rizzuto in March. They fail at that. At that point, Hells Angels do an about face. And uh, it looks like they had then Chet Del Basso killed 
in June in Montreal, uh, Del Basso was murdered after going to a meeting with Marty Robert at a, um, a health fitness center on West Island. So from what I'm being told, uh, the attack on Wooly came from the Hells Angels, came from his own people, uh, and that they have been intimidating him uh, over the last year uh, to stop being so, I guess, in cahoots with uh, the Italians in, in in their running of this sports book and uh, who who's going to take complete control over it. They 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 manage to uh, coexist in in the uh, all the major sports gambling in in quebec and parts of ontario throughout the 2000s greg woolley was one of the people that um made the alliance uh when when the rizzuto empire started to crumble uh when vito rizzuto had to go off to prison and serve some prison time uh and the rizzutos needed the hell's angels more than ever it was greg woolley that uh arranged a meeting at a uh in a cemetery uh, in like a mausoleum where the Hells Angels and the, the Rizzutos came together and, and formed a, a, a greater alliance than they had already had. Again, that's all falling apart. Uh, but Greg Woolley had his his uh, house in, in suburban Montreal shot up, uh, had it uh, had Molotov cocktails thrown at uh, his residence. This has all happened in the last year. Uh, there was some form of uh, confrontation at a biker rally I hear back in the summer where the Hells Angels, uh, in a show of force, uh, was, was telling Greg Woolley that he better uh, get on board with them and toe the line with the Angels and stop um, working with, with the Rizzutos, uh, stop doing business with them, uh, and I guess give up the part of the sports book that, that he had taken control of or, or ran with the Rizzutos. Uh, he wasn't a man that was easily intimidated, and, and he was gunned down in November, uh, going to his doctor's office, uh, getting out of his Lamborghini. So I, I just wanted to report that, A, this is something that looked like it was in the making for the last year. Just as Chip Del Basso was coming in, under attack in 2022, it looks like uh, Greg Woolley was as well. Uh, and that this appears to, again, just like with Del Basso, uh, the Del Basso assassination come it appears to be coming from the Hells Angels and, and Marty Robert uh, and his intention of consolidating uh, all the rackets in, in Montreal, sports gambling, loan sharking, drugs, uh, labor racketeering um, uh, under his banner. And, and the one thing that he did about a year ago that people are pointing to or about two years ago was bring uh, Teflon Rob Barletta over from uh, London, Ontario and brought him in to uh, work with uh, in, in the construction rackets with the Italians, as well as sports gambling, which I guess he is, is known as an expert in. And uh, Barletta has been one of the people with Marty Robert uh, that has been getting people in line. They attended Chip, Chip Del Basso's funeral together. Um, we shall see what happens. But uh, those are the two things I wanted to report. Uh, I'll keep you updated on what's going on. Up in the Great White North with this ever-evolving mafia war, Greg Woolley, Picasso, the latest casualty. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out.